profile is really important to actually communicate to other people in your courses who you are and so they can um, connect with you and you can um, easily identify each other within the online environment. So here we are in the Languages at Warwick portal. The first thing we're going to do is to log in. Now, you will have sent, been sent an email with your login credentials, so you will be able to um, enter those in the dialog box once you've clicked log in. Underneath here, you can also see there's a link if you've forgotten either your username or your password, so um, you'll be sent an automated email um, if that's the case. So. Um, you don't need to ask anybody if you can't find your access details. Just use the um, forgotten username or password link just here. So my credentials are entered, so I'm going to click Login. And because this is um, a message has been sent to me since the last time I was in, I can see a message being flagged up at the bottom right-hand corner. For now, I'm going to ignore that message. And I'm going to show you what a typical profile looks like. You can see now that the site knows who I am. It's um, inserted my um, profile picture. And if I click on my profile here, I'll be able to show you what a profile can look like. So now in the center of the page, you can see my name. And underneath that, my job title and some information. And here, the profile um, explains in French and in English a little bit about me. There's also a link with um, a little bit of a recording there as well. So I'm going to show you how to do that. You can see that I've uploaded a profile picture. And if I scroll a little bit further down, then you can see there's additional information about me. So how did I create that? Let's go back to the top and show you how to do that. Well, in order to set up your profile for the first time, you need to come across to the settings box here. So that's on the left-hand side. It may be docked in the side, as it is here, in which case, when you hover your mouse over it, it will appear. And you'll see a link that says Edit Profile. So I'm going to click on that, and the page will refresh, and show you here where the profile information comes from. So let's just scroll this down a little bit. And you can see there are a number of fields and drop downs um, that I can modify here. Um, and underneath those, uh, there's a text box here that's headed description. So this is where that center um, introduction to me um, has been put together. It's a little what's called a text editor. And here you'll be able to type text. You can change font size and paragraph and normal sort of editing things you'd expect to see in Word, for example. Um, and within our text editor, we've got some unusual features as well. So I'm going to draw your attention to this one, which is called voice authoring, this little loudspeaker. That is what I used in order to insert this play um, button here, and the play button is a recording of voice. So it's quite nice to, um, to send a little spoken message as well as just the text so somebody can hear your voice um, when they get to know you. So short text messages can be created, short uh, recorded messages can be created using that voice authoring tool. Um, simply t type in the box. So when I put my cursor there, you can see I can move that down and add additional things. Um, and I can use all the formatting tools that I've got here to change the size of that and make it look the way I want it to look. OK, I'll just remove that for now. In order to insert any authoring, voice authoring, just click on the tool. And what will happen is a little, bit, a little recording applet will appear. So this then turns your um, computer into a tape recorder, if you like. So if I click on that little red button there, I'll be able to record. And as I record, you can see my microphone is making the levels move up and down. So if that isn't happening when you try, it means your microphone needs testing. There could be a problem just with the microphone. So having done that, uh, I'm going to press stop. And you can see now the play button has turned green. There's a message 
recorded on this. So um, when I'm happy with it, I will click insert and that will produce the little play button that you can see in my, um, in my profile. Right, I will cancel that, but go and have a play with that and you can make your profile really interesting. Um, a little bit further down on this page, you can see the user picture options. So to choose a file, just click the choose a file button and find your files, either upload a file externally or um, choose a recent file. If you don't know much about um, pictures then and, and how to upload and make pictures, please do um, get hold of our fact sheet on profile pics where we can give you some information. The type of file you need to upload is either a PNG, a ping file, um, or a JPEG, J-P-E-G, a JPEG file. Um, quite small, you've got a five gigabyte maximum size here. Um, if I scroll a little bit further down, I'm sorry this will affect your screens because I'll have to refresh. If I scroll a little bit further down, you can see I can also put in some interests so that people get an idea of the sorts of things I'm interested in. And I can put in information about my instant messaging or whatever. And once you're finished, you'll come to the bottom of the page and you'll click on the big button here that says update profile. And that will be your profile, all create, created and ready to go.